The diagram shows a heptagon, so let's find the value of x. We've got x here, and we know this one here is also 3x. Notice the diagram is not drawn to scale. Now, if you take a point on any polygon and draw lines like this, then the number of triangles you get will always be two less than the number of sides that you have. So the angle sum of any polygon will be the number of sides, take away two, times 180, because each triangle has an angle sum of 180. So in this case, we have a heptagon, which has seven sides. So n will be equal to seven. So if we put seven in here, we're going to get seven minus two times 180. So that's five times 180, which is 900 degrees. So all these angles in here, these interior angles add up to 900 degrees. So making an equation, starting here and then going around this way, we're going to have the x plus 3x plus 112 plus 97 plus 109 plus 104 plus 110 will be equal to 900. So x plus 3x gives me 4x. And then if we add 112, 97, 109, 104, 110, we're going to get 532. And that's still equal to 900. Right, so taking that forward, obviously this is an equation. So subtracting 532 from both sides, we're going to get 4x. And then 900 minus that gives you 368. In order to find x, we need to know now divide by 4, and therefore x is going to be 396, uh, 68 divided by 4, sorry, which is 92 degrees. So this has been a video to show you how to find the interior angle of a heptagon. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.